Good morning and welcome into another morning moments with Jesus and getting ready to start another week. And what a better way to start the week than with a statement that I am not defeated. It is a statement that we can speak to ourselves this morning based on the word of God, based on who God is in us, that no matter what the enemy has for us this week, no matter what is going on in life, we can boldly say we are not defeated. We are overcomers. We are people of faith. And 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 through 10 backs that up this morning. When the Apostle Paul writes, and, and he kind of writes about his life and a general statement about the way to live life, he says, We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be revealed in our body. See, this morning, church, we need to admit we have an enemy in Satan. We do. If anyone does not realize that, and does not live in that knowledge every day, then you will live a defeated life whether you realize it or not. And his formula to defeat us in our lives has always been the same. And I believe it's always been the same because it's always seemed to work. And let me tell you real quick just how this progression starts, how this formula works in our lives to get us to be defeated in life. The first thing that comes our way is doubt. I'm reminded in Matthew chapter 14 this morning of how Peter stepped out of the boat and began to walk on the water. But when he took his eyes off Jesus and on his circumstances, verse 31 says, uh, verse 30 says that he began to sink. But verse 31 says, immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, little faith, why did you doubt? See, when doubt comes into our mind, then here comes the second thing, which is discouragement. Fear is really these two factors working together. See, when we begin to doubt what God can do, then we doubt what we can do, which will ultimately lead us to becoming discouraged. Now, once the enemy has you discouraged, it will not be long before depression comes. Watch that. Make sure you understand. Doubt leads to discouragement, and discouragement will lead you to depression. Now, this is the result of feeling hopeless, feeling useless, and ultimately surrendering to the thoughts of defeat. Depression is a very real and a very dangerous thing because it leads to the one thing that our enemy needs to defeat us which is disengagement. Disengagement from God, from your family, from your church family, and from your own thoughts of the truth. See, just like a lion waits patiently for his prey to separate from the herd, so does Satan wait for those to disengage from God and disengage from the people that love them. So doubt will lead to discouragement, discouragement to depression, depression to disengagement, and disengagement will ultimately lead to defeat. But claim the word of God this morning. Claim these verses today with a strong voice. I am troubled on every side, but I am not distressed. I am perplexed, but praise God, I am not in despair. I've been persecuted, but never been forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Because I'm always bearing in the body the dying of my Lord Jesus Christ. That the life that He lived, that life can be revealed in me. So today claim that, that I will not be defeated. And then you go out and walk with the knowledge that yes, I have an enemy. But greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. 
Satan may roam this earth seeking whom he may devour. But Christ, Christ has already overcome death, hell, and the grave that I might live a life today undefeated. So today you have a great day. Walk in the knowledge of the truth of God. Be safe, be strong, and always know that you're blessed. In Lord's will, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. And until then, have a great, undefeated day.